In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to cue yourself through controlled articular rotations for the cervical spine. So you're going to start off by pretending like your chin is a marker. And you want to initiate the motion by driving your chin down to your chest, which is going to cue cervical flexion. And then you're going to drive your chin down to one armpit. Let's start with the left side. So here, as I drive my chin down and to the left, I'm trying to trace my collarbone with that marker until that marker is pointing towards my left armpit. Now from here, as I start to look up and over my left shoulder as if I'm trying to look behind me, I'm going to make sure I continue to rotate with the chin. And I'm following the direction of my head or my chin with my eyes. So as I'm looking over my left shoulder, now when I start to max out that rotation, I'm going to start to dip my left ear towards my back pocket. But as I do that, my intention is to continue to rotate. And when I max out that lateral flexion with that rotation, I'm going to start to drive my chin up and over the middle. As I reach over to the right side, now from here, I'm still continuing to dip now my right ear towards my back pocket. And as I slowly take that ear out of my pocket, I'm still rotating my chin over my shoulder. So I'm still trying to look behind me with both my chin and my eyes. Then I start to tuck my chin down towards my right armpit and then trace my collarbone back down towards the center. And just to quickly review, we're gonna go down and right now to the other side, so chin down to chest. Point it towards your right armpit. Start to look over your right shoulder. Continue to look behind you as you dip your right ear towards your back pocket. Start to drive your chin up and over the middle. Look over your left shoulder, but keep your left ear down towards your back pocket and start to tuck it out of that pocket. Look over your shoulder more as your chin starts to come towards your left armpit. Then just trace your collarbone down towards the center. And that's controlled articular rotations for the neck. One of the things you want to keep in mind as you go through this motion is that when you go into lateral flexion, you're going to want to come out of that rotation. So it's a very common mistake to come into flexion, rotation. And as you start to look over your left ear, or sorry, over your shoulder, you start to laterally flex, but then you lose that rotation. And then look something like that, right? So as you reach and rotate, and you start to laterally flex, think about your chin continuing to try and rotate. Another way of thinking about it is, if you had a rod sticking out of your head and you're into that part where you're starting to laterally rotate, you're trying to point that rod behind you and not let that rod come back forward as you start to dip that ear back, if that makes any sense, right? So you wanna make sure you also follow along with the long axis of your head and continue to kind of tip it back into extension. So you're going into lateral flexion so that you can transition into extension and then you go into lateral flexion onto the other side. And those are some very important cues that you can keep in mind to get the most out of the controlled articular rotation for the cervical spine.